welcome back to my channel my name is Sophia today's message is quite quick I just want to share with you my experience with fake prophets and or let's say fake prophetess for the last two years I know God has been transforming me or leading me to a journey that he God wants me to lead to lead but I deviated a little bit in the past like when I started this journey when God was transforming me in my prayers when I'm praying 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 then I hear a voice then in that message I get a message for somebody maybe somebody in my inner circle somebody I know the last one that God spoke to me in my prayers is a friend was going through some difficulties and I had a message and when I met this friend I delivered the message and this friend confirmed exactly what I was saying to, I was saying and everything was going well getting messages delivering or some of them I ignore it I don't say it because some of the things are so in depth that I, I'm not spiritually matured yet to deliver such messages so sometimes I just keep quiet on some of the messages I get other times I deliver it or I find a way to deliver it the person will not panic or will not be scared then there we go Sophia I was on the internet one day I was on Facebook one day I saw this woman of God I'm gonna respect her title as she calls herself I saw this woman of God ministry in a prophetic she was giving the word of knowledge and I, I fell in love with it but that's one of the gifts that I desire so much. The gift of the prophetic, uh, prophetic ministry. I love it. So when I saw her, I, beca I became so fascinated about her. I've been following her, listening to her. All her life, I'm there. All her recorded videos, I'm there. And I've been enjoying it. And I noticed that when I started linking myself with this person, my prayer life dropped. That kind of messages that I would get I was getting that communication I was getting from God that also dropped then one day I was praying God I need this gift I need this gift God bless me with this gift God bless me with this gift I even went as far as fasting for this thing and some months back I fasted I said God I want this I want this I want this gift I want this gift now look at me after a few days a few days after the fast I had a dream then I saw this woman holding an idol, chanting on this idol, and the idol was failing her because whatever she's instructing the idol to do, the idol was not doing it, and she was failing. And I just barged into her. Then she saw me and she dropped the idol. So because she dropped the idol, I got a chance to enter where she was ministering, her, her premises. When I got there, there was this this anointing oil anointing water anointing this holy that, that she, she sells on the internet i went into that warehouse i saw myself there in, in in the dream and the holy spirit told me all these things are possessed with demons when you buy these things you use the anointing this anointing that demons will just possess you and be following you and whatever problem you you have will just double up and I woke up from my dream. And I said, God, is this what I've been desiring to have? Is this what I've been praying, 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 praying to have? Guys, we should be careful what we see on the internet. Or we should be careful what things that we desire to have. I am a living testimony. God was taking me through the process. But I, I, I did not wait for God to mature me, God to build me, to be the woman that God wants me to be. Because trust me, in my dream, whatever I see, bam, it comes. Sometimes if I'm laying in the bath, just relaxing, I keep getting messages. Tell this person this, tell this person that. There was a time, a family friend, enough close family. I said to this, I just had a message. Tell this person to give to orphanage tell this person to give to people in need as that was people in need people in poverty and i called this person and i told this person that this is the message that i got from you he said e, i just done it. i did it two days ago but because you've said it i'm going to do it again i said no if you've done it that's fine no 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 no, no. i'll do it again because you've said it i'll do it again 
to say, look, it's not the first time. I hear things, sometimes I just be lying down in the bath, sometimes in the, in the bedroom doing nothing. I keep getting messages. And when I deliver the message, the person says exactly what I'm going to, exactly what is happening. I could not wait. I got so sidetracked. I was following the wrong thing. Now, when I woke up, I started praying for forgiveness from God. And I said, God, send me wherever you want me to go, wherever you want me to be. Lord, I've, I've learned my lessons. God, guide me. Take me to where you want me to be. So now, mm -mm, I am very careful in the spirit. So I don't deviate again. I don't swing off track again. I don't want to move off track. So this is something I want to share with each and every one of us. Whatever track God is putting you on, that journey may not be smooth. You may be going through something. But look, God is molding you. It's a process. God is molding you. God is putting you to that path. Sorry, God is putting you to that path. And believe you me, when you allow yourself to be trained and led by God, you will be so good, so powerful. I started so well. And people were saying, oh, cool, you're doing so well, you're doing so well, you're doing so well. And for some reason, I don't know what happened. I think the devil did that. <laughs> Just swing me off track. I started following this person, loving what she's doing. Sometimes I'll be watching her, watching her. The moment I, I see the notification on my phone or on my laptop, I just, whatever I'm doing, I'll stop and go straight to watching her. Not knowing, I was just getting myself distracted from my assignment, from what God wants me to do. But I've been praying again, God, restore me in the multiple folds. That gift that whatever you tell me, whatever I hear, I tell the person and it's true. Let that thing come back. I've been praying for God to restore me. So I'll lead a, a path that he, God, wants me to lead. Not the path that I desire to, to lead on. I'll keep praying to God to honor me with the gift of the prophetic. I love that gift so much. But what God was leading me on, what God, the path God was taking me to, I should have just stayed there because whatever God tells me, if I tell anyone, it's always vanguard. And some people tell me that, you know what, this thing that you're doing, concentrate, concentrate, concentrate. I, I didn't listen. I deviated. I've, I went following somebody else, watching her, loving what she's doing. Instead of me, Keep going, keep going. I, will, I didn't do that. So I just want to share this with you. Whatever path God is putting you on, don't rush for what you want. Just ask God. God, lead me to where you want to be. So where you want me to be. God, lead me to the path of righteousness, path of holiness, so that whatever you are doing will be from God. Don't desire something that is not of God. Exactly what I did. I was desiring something which is so demonic. Something that when you use their product, you are attracting demons to yourself. God showed it to me clearly. And I, I felt so bad. I felt so stupid. And why? How did I just move up that way? But I thank God that God is putting me back on track again. And I, I, I'm so confident that God plans for me will be fulfilled. Guys. I thank you so much for listening and for those of you who have been on this journey with me, I'll say thank you so much. And if you like what I do, please don't forget to subscribe, share my videos on, it might be a blessing to somebody, you never know. So guys, I love you and I'll see you in the next video.